Hey everyone, I'm Shane. I'm a building biologist. That means that I work with people in their homes to reduce the amount of electromagnetic field radiation or EMF. And uh, there's many reasons to do this. Health is primary among those. And I wanted to share a quick tip that I use in people's homes all the time to reduce one type of EMF. This is called an AC electric field. And you can think of it like if you had a hose with water in it uh, that had a nozzle on the end that wasn't spraying, but there was water inside and there was pressure building up in the hose from that water. That's similar to an AC electric field. Um, you know, if the hose was old or damaged, you, you may even get some water leaks, some pinhole sprays coming out. And um, with electrical wiring, we actually have a lot of those little pinhole leaks in the wires and that electrical pressure is coming out into the room and interacts with your body or your dog or your cat. Um, and there's a variety of negative health impacts associated with being in those fields for long periods of time. So we look at ways that we can chip away at these fields in a home and this, this AC electric field comes from any type of charged or electrified wiring. So it could be the wiring in the walls, or it could be wiring that, that plugs into the wall and goes to your computer or the monitor on your desk or the printer or a blender or a hairdryer, really anything that um, is an electrical wire and is charged. So one thing we can do to lessen that impact, and a good place to think about this is, is probably at your desk in your office where there's a lot of things that plug in and consume electricity. And many of those things have cords like you see here on the floor. <clears throat> Just a standard electrical cord. And one top tip before we get into what I wanted to cover is this cord has three prongs on it, right? We have a hot, we have a neutral, and then we have a ground. Some of your electronics you can actually get without this ground plug. And that's gonna increase the EMF, primarily this AC electric field that's around you. So if you can get a cord that has a third prong on it, that's a best practice. And we can take it one further with a shielded power cord. So this is a regular power cord and inside are the three wires that come to these prongs and they run through this plastic jacket but there's no shielding inside. So that pressure from the hose or the AC electric field can get out more readily. Now, although this looks the same, this cord here, this actually has a layer of foil sheath inside this plastic, which <clears throat> essentially blocks some of that electrical pressure from coming out. So this is a good one if you have appliances like a computer monitor that are in this shape then you can switch these cords out very easily but i wanted to show you the effect um, of the radiation coming into the room so first place to start and you know having your own set of meters is really ideal for testing and and doing things like this in your home to make the environment better but we want to know what the ambient level in a room is. So we're gonna turn the meter on. It's set to AC electric field. And because there is a wire that goes through the wall to get to this plug, we're gonna have a little bit of field here, but we wanna know what the baseline is and note that what we're dealing with. And then we'll plug in the standard unshielded cord. I'm gonna put it right here by the meter. And one interesting thing about AC electric field, just like the hose that has water in it, but is not spraying, <clears throat> an electrical cable only needs to be plugged into the wall and have electricity in it. It doesn't need to be connected to a device like <clears throat> computer monitor, or if it's a lamp, the lamp doesn't even have to be turned on. It just has to be plugged in for that pressure to be there. So let's plug this in. And you can see on the meter that we went from about five volts per meter to over 30. You can hear the clicking or the frequency, that's the pulsing of the radiation. So a big jump there. And if you have a couple appliances or devices like this on your desk, you're gonna have a big field around you. And that's gonna take a toll on you at the end of a work day. So we'll take our shielded cord next. And 
And once we plug it in, you can see we get a little jump, we're about 15, but we've cut down half the radiation coming out. So this is a great thing to do. If you have gadgets in your office that have this shape of plug with the three prongs, you can get some of these shielded um, extension cords and swap out with your existing ones and you'll chip away at that field that's around you. So I'll put a link to the meters I like in the description as well as the shielded cables and be sure to give us a subscribe and click the notification icon too so that as we put tips and tricks like this out uh, you don't miss anything thanks